Hi everybody, how are you today? As you can see, I've been making a little bit of a mess today. And this is all of my bloom paint that has dripped away. So I am gonna try something here. Got a inexpensive eight by 10 inch canvas. These come in a pack at Hobby Lobby for $9.99. So, I am just going to give it a wipe, give it a twirl, get some paint on this canvas, give it a base. And then, I'm going to take all of my leftover paints that I have. And I'm going to do a swipe across this. And we'll see what happens. This is, uh, I believe this is an extreme sheen color. It is a pink pearl. I'm just going to drizzle that around. Just going to play with it a little bit here. really pretty next to each other. Oh, let's go with this ultramarine blue. And I'll put my pouring medium mixture in the description below so that y'all know what I'm using because this is that Bloom Technique paint. And I just kind of want to use it up instead of leaving teensy bits of it in here. So I can move on to other things. I'd like to show you some more Dutch pours. I really enjoy doing those with my blow dryer. In fact, I actually tried to do this bloom technique with the blow dryer. And no, that, that does not work. <laughs> You'd think it would, but it is just not the right consistency. What else do I have? A little bit of magenta left. Let's see if there's any Diaxazine purple in here. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Might be able to get some. No more blue. There's a little bit of ultramarine left here. Let's see if there's any of this pink. And we'll use up the rest of the neon. I'm 
just going to move this around on here. Kind of spread it over the canvas a little bit. I'm actually kind of liking this. I could leave it like it is. There's some really whack, wild, wacky colors together. even out the paint on the surface. Sorry if I'm off camera. And I am going to take my cell creator and put it across here. I want to make sure I have enough that I can bring it all the way down the canvas. Okay, and this is just a file divider that I'm going to use. It's a plastic. Try to gently place that in the cell creator. Make sure I have full contact. And I'm going to slowly bring it down. Looks like I lost a little bit of contact over on that one side. Wipe that off. I'll come over here and kind of fix this. Wow, look at them pop up. That is really cool. That is so cool. Check it out. Just kind of developing. It's very cool. I'm going to move it around a little bit. Widen those up. Get it to go down over the sides. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I wanted to see if I could do something more with that mixture. But see, I am not getting any cells in here. And I know this is not recommended, but I'm going to see. Test, test. No, no effect at all. So I wonder if I picked up some of my white paint that was up there instead of the cell creator. bring it down this way. It's going to kind of rock it back and forth because I don't want to keep everything straight on there because it's making a really neat web. Maybe help it out. Sometimes if you have a dry edge like that, it will not flow over. See, I'm just trying to even out the weight of my paint so I can get it over there without 
doing a funky stretch. want that to flow over the edge so Ooh. there we go got her moving now Sorry if I'm not in camera. I'm getting so excited here because it's making some really cool. This is actually very, very cool. Too bad I did it on a chintzy little canvas. But now I know how neat it looks. And I can do it on a larger canvas because you can see these are, they kind of buckle up in the corners and stuff like that but they're great for practice canvases. But check it out. It's so cool. The spots right there remind me of like leopard spots. So very cool. And there's some multicolored ones right there. That pink looks kind of yellow in there. It's very cool. Hey, I'm just going to bring it down a little bit over this edge and call it good. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I will see you next time. Bye.